Hi all, I am Khanam and this will be our fifth video in React Redux series. In our previous video, we have seen about Redux architecture. Now in this, we are going to continue the same, but we will see the simple example so that we will have a clear understanding on that architecture. In our previous session, we have seen data will be sent from application to action, action to reducer, reducer to store, and finally from store to our application. And this application is always subscribed to our store. So whatever changes happen inside the store, that will be reflected inside our application. So this is what we have understood. And also we have seen our Redux application cannot have two stores. In Redux, there will always be only one store. Now in this, we are going to see example. And I will be giving you an example using this library. Before moving to this example, let me just show you one simple example which we all are aware of. Now I just want to cook rice. So for that I just want my result like this. So to get my result like this cooked rice, what I need? I need raw rice. I need cooking pot. I need water. And I need stove and cylinder. These are the four things which I require to cook this rice. And also we will be putting salt for the taste. But these are the four most important things we need to get this result. So now, what is my first state? My first state is this raw rice. I'll, I'll just open this. This is my first state. And inside that, I will be putting water. Before that, I will just put inside this cooking pot. Then I will put water. And finally, I will just place that pot on the stove and the rice will be cooked and I will be getting this result. Okay, this is my result. So now here what happens, this is my first state. Okay, whatever I am having raw rice, that is stored inside the store. Now what I want to do, I want to cook rice. So this is the action. What action will do? It will tell what to do. What I want to do, I want to cook rice. So reducer will take that action, reducer what it will do, it will tell how to do that action. As soon as I switch on the stove, it will start boiling and I will get my desired result. So reducer will do that action. Action will tell what to do, what to do is I want to cook rice. Reducer will tell how to do, it will just switch on whatever actions are done and finally I will be getting my cooked rice. Now this cooked rice will be my new state. This is the previous state. After cooking, the state got updated. Now I got this cooked rice. Okay, this is the basic example. Just compare the example with our Redux architecture. Action, what to do. Reducer, how to do. Now in state, once the reducer has performed that action, I will be getting complete new state. This was the previous state. This is my final state, updated state. Action will just tell what to do. In this scenario, action is telling I just want to cook the rice. Reducer will perform that action, switch on the stove and do all the things. And finally, I will get my result. I hope you understood this example because almost everyone are aware of this basic thing, how we cook food. Now let's move forward and understand Redux architecture using the example of library. Now in library, we have library itself. We have librarian who will be giving the books. And finally students, people, whoever go inside the library, they are present. These are the three most important things which we are going to compare with our Redux architecture. Inside library, these are the main things. We have library, we have students, and we have this librarian. Inside library, we have 
books okay all the books will be stored inside the library it will be kept on different shelves so all the books will be present inside the library now what student will do student basically they will not be inside the library from entrance they will be coming inside the library so student will be there the entrance of the library and librarian will be seated at the book counter okay they will be seated on the counter library counter these are the three things which we are having inside the library now what are the activities those are performed by this student what student will do student will take the books from the shelf or student will read the book student will borrow the book student will return if the student has taken any book previously student will return that book these are the activities a student can perform inside the library now what librarian can do librarian if student wants the book librarian can edit that entry inside the computer and they can give the book to the student if the student want to return the book again they will edit the entry they will add that book inside the computer and they will keep that book inside the shelf so now let's just take an example now student wants the book student has gone to the librarian librarian has edited something inside the computer and that book is given to student now inside library what happened one book is gone so one book is reduced inside the library so now inside my library i am having the updated state previously i was having all the books now one book is taken by the student now one book is reduced so in library the number of books present are total books minus 1 because one book i have given to student now if the student wants to return the book again he can come to librarian they can edit the entry inside the computer now my library will become whatever total i was having that plus one book so these are the basic things that will happen inside the library and these are the activities performed by student librarian and based on the student and librarian the books will be reduced or the books will be increased inside the library okay i hope you understood this basic thing now how does this student librarian and library it is related to redux architecture now here i have written library all the books will be kept student will be there at the entrance of library librarian will be seated at the book counter and he or she can edit the entry in the computer either they can give the book or either they can get the book from the students so in redux architecture when we compare all these three things library will be acting as a store because in library all the books will be stored so inside redux in store all the state of an application will be stored whatever data my application is having that entire data is stored inside the store so library will be compared to store student what student will do student will go inside the library what student will do student can either borrow the book student can return the book student can read the book student can sit inside the library these are the things which student can do basically they are just doing the things so these students will be compared to actions now what actions will describe it just tell what to do in our example student wants the book so student will be taking the book okay student wants to borrow the book so borrowing book will be our action now reducer what it will do it will describe how to do now librarian once i get the book from the shelf i will give that book to librarian directly i am not going to take the book and i will not come outside of the library i have to give that book to librarian librarian will make the entry in the computer or they will just give some stamps or some card accordingly next time when i come to library i have to return that book so librarian will be compared to reducers which tells 
how to do that action either student wants to borrow the book or student wants to return the book now student is borrowing the book librarian will edit some entries and they will give the book to the student now inside the library one book is reduced that is my updated state so library will be compared to store which will be holding our entire state application and reducer will be compared to librarian which will edit the entry inside the computer and accordingly book will be either added or book will be either reduced from the library this is the real world scenario i have taken just to explain about store action and reducers i have shown you two examples now you will be having some clear understanding on this store action and reducers these are the three main concepts store reducer and action store is what it holds all the data of our application which it uses reducer is what it manipulates the data when it receives an action so when i borrow the book one book is getting reduced so reducer will be performing that action action is what that tells reducer to manipulate the stored data okay once the action is given based on that action reducer will be manipulating that data and that manipulated data will be sent to store and our application is always subscribed to store whatever changes we are having inside the store that will be reflected inside the application as well i hope you are clear with this example if you are a complete beginner to redux understanding redux will be little difficult but if you keep on practicing then definitely you will understand each and every concept just take real world scenarios and compare that with this real world examples you can take any example you can take cooking roti you can take going to hotel and ordering food you can take any example and you can compare that real world scenarios with this react redux architecture that's all for this session next session we are going to understand about redux principles